So today I'm in a newly discovered and very unique lava tube within Auckland. Over the past year, we have undertaken far-reaching exploration efforts of the Auckland Volcanic Field in New Zealand to find new and undocumented lava caves. These efforts have yielded the discovery of a new and significant lava cave. This cave is about 100 metres long, and as you can see, is incredibly uh, roomy. Um, it reaches up to 10 metres high in places. And we have fully surveyed this cave, it's about 100 metres long, uh, and it's also been accepted as a new cave discovery by the New Zealand Speleological Society. So this lava cave is, is unusual in that it's not similar to many of the other lava caves that we find in the Auckland region. Uh, this cave uh, features very distinctive parts to it. So right now I'm in the northern section of the cave, and the entire ceiling here and all the walls are coated in a really bright white almost soapy appearance. Um, whilst we don't know exactly what this is, we believe it is some form of bacteria, uh, and we're working with the science of the community to understand exactly what it is. So the ceiling here features incredible, uh, what we call lava tights and lava straws, again, unlike anything I've ever seen in any lava cave. The floor of this particular cave is also very interesting. Um, we see multiple uh, lava flows that have come through here and they've all oxidized at different uh, levels. So we see lava flows that are brilliantly bright, uh, yellow, orange, reds, greens, blacks, all kinds of colors here. The discoveries within this cave seem endless. Among the most fascinating finds are unusual mineral formations, including exquisite crystals, bizarre colloid speleotherms, crusts, puffballs, and delicate films. Our hypothesis suggests a diverse mineral composition within the formations, including calcite, gypsum, green selenite, bacterial films, and possibly others. Within the northern section of the cave is a secondary entrance to a separate sublevel tube that runs directly beneath the main tube. It is hoped that further investigation of this lava cave will contribute to a greater understanding of subsurface geological processes within Auckland.